What is the role of ICT then for social change? First of all, we have to recognize that ICT by now is, is always there in our social reality. During the first decade of 15 years of the new millennia, the population in the United States has increased the time that they spend online by about one hour per week every year. So uh, an, ever in more, an ever larger part of our time is spent online and this, this tendency is still increases. Additionally, we watch TV, play video games or read often nowadays also on some kind of, of digital device. What percentage of your awake time do you estimate? Do you interact with some kind of information mediating technology? Time budget studies show that by now the majority of our time, more than 60% of our time, we spend interacting with some kind of mediated form of communication. Face-to-face -face time, be it with family or friends, is reduced to less than 30% and it's kind of like a dying species as we start to intermediate even face-to-face -face time often. Second, ICT is always there and ICT is also everywhere. There are almost as many mobile phones on planet Earth as there are people. So on average, basically everybody has a mobile phone. 80% of the workforce in the United States uses the internet for their job at home. You might think 80%, you know, construction workers, bus drivers, waiters. Why would they use the internet at home for, for the job? But you know, think about it. For example, you, you check out the weather forecast, um, you look up traffic patterns, and you use the internet for educational reasons to, to move forward in your job and, and to inform yourself. The offline and online worlds are also increasingly merging. For example, as early as 2013, the majority of people in the United States have used uh, mobile phones to do, make price comparison in a store. That means they go into a store, they check out a product, and then they compare the price on their mobile phone and a very quickly increasing percentage of the people, they go then into the store and then they take out their mobile phone and they buy it online. Have you ever done that? So ICT is always there and it is everywhere, but is it also the most important thing out there? What is more important than ICT? Go ahead, make a list. Well, I can think of many things that are more important than ICT, starting with food. I mean, we still cannot eat cell phones. We have to eat. Then shelter as well. We need a home. We need a place to stay. That is very important. Well, let's say for most of us, it, it, it is probably more important. Um, then also, we need, obviously, we need water. That is essential to human beings. We need hygiene. We need a sanitary system. We need health. Without health, imagine. Then we also need security, protection. That is very important. Safety. Uh, we need an emergency system. When something happens, somebody should come. We need uh, safety and uh, protection from criminality. Peace. I mean, imagine war and peace. That's obviously more important. And of course, education. That's important. And last but not least, friends. And love, of course. I mean, as a species, we need to reproduce. So that's also more important than ICT, obviously. So what's then all this fuss about the digital revolution if there are so many other things that are more important? Well, let's maybe ask one of the most prominent revolutionaries. Maybe he can give us some insight on how these revolutions actually work. And he has something to say to you, students of this world. Never forget that behind every technology is somebody who is using it and that this somebody is a society. And that technology is a weapon. And whoever feels that the world is not as perfect as it should be, should fight so that the weapon of technology is used to the benefit of society, so that we can build the society of the future, no matter what name it may be given. And while the name and the vision of society that Che Guevara had in mind might be very different than 
the vision and the name of society that we have in mind. And while we might or might not agree with his vision, in our ambition to create the information society, the digital age, this is a very important message that technology is actually a weapon and it should be used to benefit society. We have to build the society of the future. It's a proactive process. And technology is basically, it's, it's a weapon, it's a tool. Of course, we cannot eat mobile phones, but we can use mobile phones to obtain food cheaper. We can use them to increase the productivity of agriculture. We can use digital communication networks to increase the safety of, of our transportation system, to enhance education, to spread the reach of education. We can use it to make sure that health is there as quickly as possible, that information flows in real time. We can use it to create and to maintain friendships that would be impossible to maintain without communication technologies and we can use digital technologies to find and fall in love. Most of the marriages nowadays in the United States are produced by online dating websites. So digital technologies are means to a whole myriad of different ends. And that's the power of digital technologies. They are enhancers. They are tools to fulfill and to achieve more important ends.